Well, hello, good morning. Now, I don't really know where I'm going to go today. It's Friday, so it's spiz time, obviously. I'm up nice and early. I'm having my breakfast here at McDonald's, and I don't really know where to go. It's uh, snowing up north and sort of where I normally like to go, Brecon area and Blair Gary. It's all snowed off up there, flooded. So I thought I might just have... I don't want to go into Dundee again, but I, th- I, th- I might just have to, because there's nothing else to do. I've got a few things to do later on as well, so my time is kind of... Uh, budgeted today. Anyway, we're starting the day here. As always, I've got an Egg McMuffin meal from McDonald's. And my coffee. So, I might go into Dundee and look for the the witch, Grazelle. I've been reading my paranormal Dundee books last night and the, all that kind of stuff. So, I might go looking for Grizzle Jaffrey. Indeed. Sounds like a curry, doesn't it? Grizzle Jaffrey. She was a witch in Dundee, so I might go looking for her sort of burnt, burnt remains or something. Anyway... Right, we have a slight change of plan here. I've come to Camperdown. Yes, I have. Camperdown House in search of a Pictish stone that is just at the edge of this uh, first green on Camperdown Golf Course. Right, now there's going to be probably lots of golfers here with their Pringles and their slacks and all that kind of stuff, but hopefully I'll get on there. I've got my new notebook. Yes, a nice pink one that I've got with all my bits and pieces in it, all those spiz notes. Um, Nice and pink. Why pink, you may ask? Well, if I drop it... I'll be able to see it, no problem. The other one was black, so I thought I'd go for the, the pink one. Now, I'd just like to say hello to Karen, one of my subscribers. Hello, Karen, nice to, to speak to you. And it's uh, been fantastic receiving all your emails, words of support, and all that kind of uh, things that you send me. Fantastic, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right, now then, already there's a, a golfist looking at me, so better be quiet, because you know what I like. Anyway, there's Camperdown House. It is, uh, at the moment, shut up, I think. Used, used to be used for wedding venues and all kinds of things. It used to be a... Actually, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to waffle rubbish. Anyway, on we go to look for the stones. Well, as I make my way through these lovely tall trees, little wooded bit, a lot of people have been wondering what I use to video myself with. Well, I can tell you, there's nothing technical about it at all. Here it is. It's called a... Oh, it's one of those man Frodo pods or something. I don't know. I got it on eBay for £9.99. I just stick the thing on and I, you know, just hold it away. It does get quite heavy from now and again, but normally I've got Bro to film, but he's not here, so when he's not here, I just use a monopod. Thank you. While I'm at the first green, a mucho trepidatione, as just over there, I can see the stone. There it is. Almost there. Well, here it is. And I must admit, it's a little bit disappointing. I thought there might be like a, something on it, but there doesn't seem to be anything. No, it's just a stone. One side is rather flat. I can see right across to five today. So there's the stone. Hmm. On the spizometer, this one's going to get a rather pathetic two out of ten. Two out of ten on the spizometer. It's here. And it's just a stone. Sorry, two out of ten. Well, there we are. Then that was a rather pathetic two out of ten on the spizometer. There was supposed to be another sort of cup and ring stone somewhere in the vicinity, but I had a good look, couldn't find it. And these things are kind of used for like star maps, messages to the gods agricultural counting, uh, when they were tripping on these magic mushrooms and things, they would use them as sort of like guideposts to talk to the gods and all this kind of weird stuff. Nobody really knows what they're for. I think they might have been actually used for like maybe a game or something. I'm going to sort of have a wee investigation, see what I think. But uh, nevertheless, a sad 2 out of 10 on the spizometer for that sad, lonely looking stone. I camper down. Zoom. Now, we have come to one of the strangest places in Scotland ever. This spot here was where Bro used to have a roll van. Yes, Bro used to work on the roll van. It was called the Nippy Chippy, and this used to be his exact spot. And I will come up here on a Friday on my day off and help him out here. So before Spiz, where we had to work, Bro had his van here. It's called the Nippy Chippy. 
I'm sure Bro's got some photographs he can put on, but we used to serve the working public here between 8 o'clock and 2 o'clock every day. But as I said, I used to come up on a Friday and help him. So this is the exact spot where Bro had his van. Very strange place indeed. It's only going to get a 1 out of 10 on the speedometer though. <laughs> Well, I have ventured into town. I've come into town to look for Grizzle Jaffrey's uh, plaque and a burial place simile and some uh, gravestones that have been incorporated into this sort of wall. Quite an unusual feature, so I'll be going to look for that. I'm going to write my notes down in my new pink notebook. I've brushed my hair because a few people were complaining that my hair was a mess and I must admit it is. But I'm on holiday this week. I've let myself go. Uh, I don't normally look like this bad. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll do. I'll post a picture of what I look like when I scrub up. Anyway, so here we go. All right, there's the plank to Grizzle Jeffrey. Sounds like a bad curry, doesn't it? And down there somewhere, damn the people. There's a cross where she was born. Not born. She was burned. So there is a spot where the Mercat Cross used to be. In the middle of the Seagate, and that is where Grizzle Jaffrey was burnt at the stake. There's simply a pile of ashes underneath there. There it is. Okay, well, here I am in sort of Bell Street car park area. Here are the uh, the headstones incorporated into the wall. Then they come from about 1836, when the house just down the road was getting too busy, too full. They uh, stuck some here but this was actually cleared in 1962 but these headstones for some reason have been left embedded in the wall very strange indeed five of them I mean you can see they look quite new but there is tales of ghosts here well they can hear a child crying every now and again seemingly So this must be him. The infant son howls in Bell Street. Right, I've only been about three quarters of an hour, so if I hurry back to the car park, it'll only cost me a pound rather than two pounds. So let's get a, a shift on here. Oh, here we go. Let's hope this is just a pound. Yeah, let's get in. So, the mysterious white box on Gardine Campus. I have come here on the way home. I just happened to catch that in the uh, local rag. So, I'm going to go and find it and see what it's all about. Sounds quite interesting. It'll be like a, a strange object in Scotland. It'll be a soice or a strange thing in Scotland. A, a stis. There's going to be loads of people here, though. Here we go. Students as well. I look like a student, so I'll be all right. Still look young enough to be a student, I think, don't you? Mm. Shades on. Right, well, I couldn't find the white box, but I remember my mate telling me about this uh, strange house that is actually something to do with the military. And underneath this is seemingly some sort of secret bunker or something. I'll need to go and investigate and see what he says, but uh, I think this is it. It's very... Uh, what's the word? It's in the middle of houses and everything, so... I don't think I'll be able to get in, but I'll have a shot. Hang on. Holy shit! Oh my god. OMG! The things I do for spiz. Now I went down to the, the beach there to see if there was uh, that there was a boy that got washed in. It uh, lost his moorings and came in. I think Bro's got a picture of it somewhere. Bro put it up, but I went down there to see if it was there. My God, that's the worst five minutes I've ever spent in my life. The things I do for spiz. So there's the spot where Grizzle Jeffy was. Oh, for heaven's sake! Look at that. Start 